Hello everybody and welcome back to the United Stand. Sir Jim wants to build a Wembley of the North as Manchester United's new stadium. There is so much news coming out from the Telegraph now around Sir Jim's rebuild of Old Trafford. Is it going to be a renovation? Is it going to be a completely new build? I personally think from the news that's coming out, it looks like it's going to be a completely new build of Old Trafford. What would you make of that? Would you want a new Old Trafford? New Trafford? I mean, it'd have to, it'd have to keep his name of Old Trafford. I know there's so many different viewpoints on that. I know there's so many people that are like, nope, we cannot have a new stadium. It's got too much history. It's got it means too much to so many people. Or there's other people out there that think, you know what, we need to move on with the times. There was great memories at that stadium, but a new stadium could be absolutely class for developing Manchester United into the new and into the future. So it's going to be really interesting to hear your guys' thoughts on this. And get involved in the chat. This is a community show, and I really want to know what the community think. Over the years in the United Stand, we've had so many different polls that kind of tell us where the Man United fans Feelings lie within the fan base. We've had them on Eric Ten Hag in our out. We've had them on, you know, different players and whether they wanted to come. We had one on Hoyland in, in the summer and you guys were so so dominant on wanting Hoyland to join Manchester United and how right you were with that because how well he's doing. So I really want to know your guys' opinions on this, on whether we should build a new stadium, renovate, and what you think about Sir Jim and, and making these moves already. I mean, one thing I would say is, I think it's about who you know in this business. And Sir Jim knows a lot of people. They're talking about government funding. He's not messing about. And so far, so good for me in terms of what he wants to do, in terms of put, getting his foot in the door and actually making decisions. Whether you agree with them, whether you don't, he's at least he's starting to make moves. But let's get on with the show and get into the first bit of news coming out. So there's been a big article from the telegraph and from james ducker around it surrounding a new stadium and what that would entail and how sir jim plans to do it there's also been some news coming out about a completely new training ground in the south of manchester as well so interesting stuff the thing is with about a new stadium where it where it comes into play of how it can make manchester united money there's naming rights involved there's sponsorships it's huge you can rent it out to, to different venues i mean you talk about the Etihad, they have every concert going in here, up here. And I, and I know that that's not to do with football, but it makes you money. But anyway, let's get into it. So we've got Sir Jim Ratcliffe wants Manchester United to create the Wembley of the North under ambitious plans for a spectacular new Old Trafford. Ratcliffe believes that the North of England should have a world-class venue to rival London's 90,000 capacity Wembley Stadium and could yet to seek to lobby the UK government for funds amid Westminster's levelling up pledges. Old Trafford, New Trafford, and the plans to make it the Wembley of the North. I mean, in terms of the capacity that you could have Old Trafford, you could have it absolutely huge. I mean, we've got the fan base to fill it out. There's no doubts about that. City are talking about it expanding the, the Etihad. Next minute, they're going to actually have to pay people to go and sit in there. They're already advertising tickets on... I mean, I see them advertised online all the time. You see the student discounts, you see them put in the newspapers. I mean, I think my brother's at school and I think he got offered, gen gen not making this up, I think they generally got, they got a, like a leaflet home of how to get tickets for, for Manchester City, like free tickets. That gen Genuinely, that's that's where the Etihad are at. Manchester United will fill out Old Trafford easily. And you talk about 90,000, we could fill that out. I genuinely think we could. So you look at Old Trafford and there is room to be making obviously more money in terms of the capacity and including more fans in the match day experience and creating a bigger atmosphere i assume with that but also when it comes to having that big of a capacity you're going to be able to bring money into the football club to help you invest in the football inside of things commercially i mean it can be used it can be a multifaceted stadium that can bring in different sports it can be used for concerts it can be used for events it can be used for so many different things and you talk about you know the euros the world cups or, or potential you know anything that kind of is a down that route and old trafford would be first on the list i mean when stadiums got shortlisted recently old trafford didn't make it and manchester united brought out a statement saying it was because they don't know when the kind of rebuild of the stadium's going to be or when the upgrade's going to be so they didn't want to commit to it realistically old trafford isn't in the best stadiums in the UK right now. We absolutely love it. 
because it's our home and it's got so much history and it's got so many memories there but old trafford is decrepit it's got leaks it's not up to date with the new technology it is losing it's losing time very quickly it's, it's becoming more and more in the past and it's not upgrading with the future so this would be huge in terms of making money commercially to put back into the football inside of things but you could also do that by upgrading old traffic you don't have to knock it down i mean just look at what real madrid have just done with the burnabout it's absolutely insane so you can do you can do both you can renovate and the the level of talent that the top class arty architects have nowadays you could definitely renovate Old Trafford and you could make it higher capacity. You could make it into a state-of-the-art stadium. But for the money it's going to cost, and we'll get into that in a second, a new build might look like it'd be the better option. But would you want that because of the history that Old Trafford has? But get your Super Chats in. Please get your Super Chats in and let me know because I want to hear different opinions and, and why you feel that way. Because I'm going to be honest, guys, so many people talk about you know, fans being from Manchester. I mean, I don't think it matters where you're from to support Manchester United at all. And I, I live in Manchester. I'm from Manchester. I've grown up as a Manchester United fan. And I'm from Manchester. I live in Manchester. And I'm going to be completely honest here, and it might not be a popular opinion. I would not mind building a new stadium. I really wouldn't. I'm going to be honest. I think we need something that's modern and we need to look as if we're going into the future. And... Of course, I, I I don't mind if we renovate it. I, of course, I don't. But if Sir Jim came out with new state-of-the-art art plans to build a new Old Trafford next to the one that we've currently got, one you can keep playing in Old Trafford as you're building a new one, so you don't have to move stadiums with the team. So that suits. And two, you're still in the same location, and it's about building... You can remember the history, and the history is phenomenal, and we'll still be in that place but it's about building new memories in, in a new era. I don't think a stadium defines you. It defines what you're going to do into the future. I think the memories we had there on that pitch, it's incredible. And every time I go into Old Trafford now, I'm lucky enough to be a season ticket holder there. I, I get take, blown away by it every time and I go every single week. So, you know, if you don't go there often, you do get blown away by it because it's just how close you are to the pitch. You want to keep, you want to keep the the attributes that make it a good ground and make the atmosphere good there in terms the atmosphere has depleted over the years but it's still a good atmosphere especially on them on, on them games against you know the liverpools the cities the european knights it's incredible being close to the pitch feeling the fans around you but it is going backwards the amount of space in there it's i struggle to sit in the seats and i'm five foot two so i don't know how other people do it and you know there's, there's the technology is not really there and it is leaking it is it isn't it isn't at the level it needs to be i wouldn't mind building a new stadium i know mark's against it i know a lot of people are against it kev's another one who i know is against it and i can understand that for sure but let me have a look at what you guys are saying nick Cantar said beth's right thank you nick not many people say it but i'm glad you uh i'm glad you acknowledge it akash paul says it's iconic and part of our soul Stay at Old Trafford, just redevelop like Madrid did. There is a way we can turn Old Trafford into 90k. Old Trafford has survived world wars. Like I said, the architects that are about today, you could definitely renovate Old Trafford. I mean, I'm not going to say 100% because I'm not an architect myself, but I'm sure there'd be a way. I mean, modern technology is incredible. But I also think if people that are, are, in, are paid a lot of money to make these decisions and, and look into it, decide it is the better way to go into a new stadium, I think there will be some uproar, there'll be some sadness, and of course I'll be upset about it for, for a short time, but I think people would get over it and would kind of embrace the new stadium that's going to be state-of-the-art and world-class that we're about to bring in and step into a new era. In, in my opinion, it doesn't. you don't lose the, the past through that, I think you just take it with you. But I know so many people think different things on this, so it, it is interesting. A lot of people say, what is that banging? That's my, uh, sorry guys, my AirPods and my earring in. I might take my earring out actually, just so it doesn't bang anymore on screen. We'll do that. We're on stream yeah today. Producer's off. Producer's skiving. Everyone in the chat, he's in the chat. Tell admin he's skiving. So me, myself and I to bring you the show today. Patrick Scotsman said, Old Trafford is historic, but we must move on. Interesting. I was having a chat with Mark before the stream and... 
we kind of clashed on this and it's interesting because there's so many things I agree with Mark on. There's so many things we, we also disagree on. I mean, the goalkeeper situation was, was a big one of last year, but we're having this, we're having this conversation and this was a quote that's coming out from the Telegraph. Source close to Sergio Ratcliffe, we think the fans would be quite happy to accept a brand new stadium if we stay where we are, as in the location. And I said, you know, I personally wouldn't mind it. Like, I, I, I think he's right on that fact. I think some fans would be gutted. You're not never going to please everyone, but I think some fans would it would also embrace it and be able to move past it. And Mark said, how to Mark thinks Sir Jim in, in that in that sense is misreading the fan base. He says it might be an age thing. He says he'd be furious. That ground is like a church to many United fans and I hate new stadiums. Highbury is way better than the Emirates and the majority of Arsenal fans agree. But I agree, younger fans seem more open to it. Ageism, I'm joking. It, it's true. I do think younger fans are probably more, more open to it. And that doesn't mean I don't respect the history and the culture of Manchester United because I absolutely do. And, and, and you've grown up knowing that. I've, I've, I've had it embedded into me, you know, my, my granddad, who sadly, you know, isn't here with us anymore. My dad, you know, they, they tell me all these stories and, and, and you grow up with it and you learn the significance of it. But I do think sort of and Mark is right there in the sense of the older generation probably I, I do feel a little bit more warm to, um, not warm, sorry, cold towards building a new stadium, the opposite there. So it is interesting. What do you think? But I was speaking to Ricky about this and he won't mind me saying, Ricky, you know, Ricky's been there for years. He remembers when you had to buy a ticket on the gate. And, you know, I'm not revealing your age here, Ricky, but we know you're not a spring chicken anymore. Still, still, still got a long way to go. But he's obviously the oldest one at the United stand. And he remembers his tickets at the gates. He tells me all these stories. Whenever me and Ricky, you know, in the pub or we were going on these match days together, he tells me the stories of back in the day. And I said to him, Rick, you know, if we did have a new stadium, what would you think about that? And he said, it might be unpopular, but I wouldn't mind a new stadium. Rick, Ricky's not bothered and he's one of the oldest of the lot. He's been there through so many different times for Manchester United and he's been there every step of the way. He loves it. He's always at Old Trafford. So it's interesting because Mark says about the older generation now, Ricky wouldn't really mind it. So I think it just depends on, on how you view it and how, how you view its importance. For me, it's a stadium. It's 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 historical. And I love it and I love all the memories we've made there, but it doesn't mean that we can't make new ones. It's the same location. If we were, you know, packing our bags and moving over to South Manchester, that's when I'd be like, hang on a second. Old Trafford is, you know, this is where we are. We're in Stratford. This is where Old Trafford should be. It, this is the location. If we were moving, you know, pretty far away, then I'd be, I'd have something to say about it. But we're literally building right next door to it and if you look at go and look at the pitch on the United Stand socials you can see where the plans is for that but perhaps Marady says hey Beth agree renovation would mean missing out um revenue from tickets for years only makes sense tickets were significantly cheaper a lot of people saying you could turn the current Old Trafford into the new women's stadium I don't know how that would work because let me get the picture up I wish I could show it you on the screen I really wish I could. If we were in the studio and the producer wasn't skiving, then I don't know actually because it'd be copyright. So I, I'm, I'm talking rubbish. So you've got, I don't know, I can't describe it. Well, you've got Old Trafford. Most of you will know in terms of where Old Trafford is. What they want to do is build the new stadium basically right off the back of it. And I assume they will then knock down Old Trafford and create, use that as like the car park space and and, and the space you need surrounding it. I don't think you could have two stadiums back to back and have it as the women's stadium. I might be wrong. Like I said, I'm not an architect, but I assume they would build it right next door traffic because there is space near the with near the Bridgewater Canal and the railway line. There is space there and you would be able to do it. And then I assume the current Old Trafford will get knocked down and use that for car parks and, and you know other things that you have in and around a stadium access. I don't think you'd have two stadiums back to back because then you just wouldn't, I don't think you'd have enough space. But It'd be interesting to see what the plans would be surrounding that. And as the plans come out, it'd, I think it'd be more interesting to see what, what what it would entail and how it would work. But I assume they would build Old Trafford next to it and then knock down the current one. And Kim says, if they make a new stadium, be prepared for higher prices. Be prepared for higher prices. I had an email the other day. Manchester United are again up in the season ticket prices, another 5%. £49 a home game now. It is. It's ridiculous. 
it's genuinely ridiculous. They upped it last year after having, I think they had a, a price freeze for, for a long time, if, if I'm not wrong. Last year they upped it, I thought, hang on a second, you know, is it really worth what I'm paying right now, honestly? And then this season, after the absolute misery I've had to watch there every week, they have the cheek to say, you know what, we're upping it an extra 5%, so could it get any higher? I mean, I think in terms of of, of, of season tickets and inflation, it's, it's not just a Man United problem. It's, I mean, how long have we got? It's a, it's a UK problem. Inflation's on the rise massively, but if the ticket prices, they are what they are, and it, it's, it's a part, part and parcel of football. You'd hope they wouldn't be too high. Um, in Spark says, Beth, renovating Old Trafford is all well and good, but when the Sir Bobby stand is developed, then what? Time to start with a new build, I think. This is what I mean, right? So you've got the three tiers now on the Sir Alex Ferguson stand. You've obviously got the Stratford end. Um, you, 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 you know what the areas of Old Trafford. And you've got the Sir Bobby Charlton stand. That has levels for another tier. But then in terms of building more seats around that, I don't know how it would work. I assume you'd be able to do it with the top level, the top level architects that are in the country. But I do think... This is just my personal opinion looking at it. I think a new stadium is the way to go and that's unpopular, but I'm on my on the United stand to give my opinions. And what the lucky thing is for everyone watching is you're gonna on on the on the eight PM show tonight when Mark has his say, you're gonna get a completely different opinion. Because I know Mark doesn't want it to to, to to get knocked down. He's very against it. He wants to renovate, he doesn't want a new stadium. So you're gonna get complete other sides of the coin. For me personally, I think a new stadium will take us into the next area. To, to, era take us into the future and the atmosphere will always carry through it's about who we are the fans fill that stadium you know the aura of Manchester United will always be there and we we make it our own stadium it, it and okay yeah we've had such great history there and, and some great memories but that hasn't helped us in in the last few years in terms of success the stadium doesn't make you successful or define anything. Like it, We've had some great times there, but we can take that into the new stadium, into the, into the future and create new memories in there. That's that's just my thoughts on it. Um, so Ginge says, 49 quid to watch Scott McTominay bunny hop and pretend to be a midfielder. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's worth it. Honestly, sometimes it's worth it. I mean, the 2-1 against City was some of that. I mean, that wasn't even... It's priceless games like that. Sometimes it's not. I mean, I'll tell you a funny story. This is... I mean, I don't want to go overboard, but... Basically, Man United, we know that they're incompetent. And people say, you're on the payroll. You've got a Rasmus Hoyland interview. You're on the payroll. No, we're not. We're not on the payroll. We have good relationships. and But it, we're, def we're definitely not on the payroll. But I obviously have a season ticket. Man United mess things up i had transferred my carabao cup ticket for the crystal palace game that we had to my brother's membership because he was taking one of his friends whatever so anyway i transferred that all well and good we had crystal palace back to back i don't know if you remember this season i go to scan my season ticket in for the premier league game against crystal palace hang on a second it won't let me in i'm like hang on a sec obviously i've done the build-up show here so i'm i'm on the minutes as it is I have to go all the way to the ticket office. There's a massive queue. Wonder why? Because Man United can't get things sorted. So I've, loads of people are in are in are in are in a pickle with it. I say to them, you know, my season ticket isn't working. They say, oh yeah, we've we've accidentally cancelled it because you 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 transferred your Carabao Cup ticket and we've got it messed up. And I was like, excuse me. Then I have to pay fifty pound to go in the top tier, and nothing wrong with the top tier. Any seat in Old Trafford is a good seat. I, I've always said that. But I pay 50 quid, which is more than what I actually pay for my season ticket, to watch the game. It ends up being nil-nil. I honestly was like, can this get any worse? I did end up getting a refund on it because obviously it wasn't my fault. But it was just ridiculous. Anyway, long story short, I'm, I'm getting carried away with the show. But Man United's incompetence does shine through a lot of the time. And it, it, I don't know why that story was going, but... But waffle, waffle, waffle. Anyway, let's 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 move on to a few more points. So, Telegraph says Ratcliffe believes that the north of England should have a world class venue to rival London's ninety thousand capacity at Wembley Stadium. We've spoke about that. Sources close to Sir Jim Ratcliffe feels say that Sir Jim Ratcliffe feels that Manchester United needs an absolute state of the art, knock it out of the park, wow stadium. I feel like I'm on Dragons Den. And we feel there's a strong argument for the country having a top-class major venue in the north 
a Wembley of the North. And I think this is true. You know, you've got you've got the Wembley in London, but everybody knows Manchester, London, the North, the South. I'm joking, I don't want to offend anyone, but it is true. Um, so, you know, Manchester is, is up and coming, it's developing. So many people from the South are actually moving up here. It's, it's a hustling, bustling city. We've got two of the best football teams in England. I mean, one is technically the best. The other one is, is the biggest and is is got all this history and, 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 and it's got the best history and the best record. Like, So you'll look at it. It's it's an up and coming city that's progressing and it just keeps expanding. Manchester is absolutely brilliant. I love living in Manchester and I think anyone who lives in Manchester understands. I mean, how much it's growing. You've got Media City here. You've got you've got it. It's growing out exponentially, basically. And London, of course, is the capital of England, and it's got the majority of of of, of everything is in London. But a lot of things are moving to Manchester. The prices are better here. It's expanding. It's it, it's a hub. A Wembley of the North absolutely does make sense. It really does make sense. It a hundred percent does. Whether that can be Manchester United Stadium is a different matter. But how good is it to dream big and dream of of having the best stadium in the UK? Something that's going to make us money, even when we're not playing there. I mean, the, the the priority is it's for Manchester United to play football, but it's going to make us money off the pitch. Omar Barad has spoken about it commercial gains as well as well as footballing gains they can go hand in hand you can we speak about the glazers just being bothered about money and that has been true in the past but you can benefit the football inside of things by good financial and commercial decisions they can benefit each other so i think it's positive i mean if anyone's been to spurs stadium it's absolutely unbelievable i mean and you look at the difference of that stadium compared to manchester united i mean just being able to watch VAR back on a screen. I don't even know where they'd fit the TVs into Manchester, Manchester United. And you think about it, I sound silly saying, oh, we need a new stadium because we need TVs. I'm sure you would be able to fit them in somehow. But it's that jam-packed. I generally, I cannot see where a TV would fit into, into Old Trafford. I'm sure it would. But even screens to like watch the VAR back, to be told, you know, we have someone down the tannoy telling us if VAR has made a decision. You don't have a screen that tells you anything because you can't see anything to watch back a replay, like just, just general stuff. And I think the main thing is being able to actually sit down and not feel like you're being squished by everyone around you. Of course, it's a good atmosphere and and, and you feel like you're close to everyone. And you know when that last minute goal goes in at Old Trafford, I get up and we're all hu- hugging and everything. I nearly fly down like 10 rows because it's that jam-packed together. I mean, I went to Copenhagen Stadium for the away game against Copenhagen, which was a night to forget. But their stadium was... I mean, it's, it's inside, it's, it's, it's better than Old Trafford. And that's embarrassing because, you know, Copenhagen, good side. And I actually really respect them. It's a lovely city. But they shouldn't have a better stadium inside than, than what Manchester United do. It just shouldn't be happening. But you go to most stadiums now and there's more room, there's there's better technology, it's better, it, it's better run. And Old Trafford needs a massive upgrade, whether that be the stadium being renovated or a new one. And I think a new one, could really plunge us into the future and create the best stadium that is in the UK. And that can it, that, that can really kind of give you a kickstart into a new era. This is Sir Jim, you know, coming in. It's a new, people keep talking about the new era. He's going to get, he's got a new CEO, new sporting directors. Is he going to get a new manager? We don't know. We hope it's going to be 10 hours to carry him through. But at the moment, you know, you're starting off a new era. Do you, do you just, you know, finish it off with, a complete new state of the art, art stadium. Say this is Man United. We're moving into the future. We're serious. We're serious now. We're going to be serious on the pitch. We've got a serious stadium, and we're committed to being the best football team in the world. And we're going to do everything around us to be that. It's interesting. It's interesting. Um, Keena says, "How hard is it to rebuild Old Trafford? Where would they build it?" I just spoke about that. It'd be next to Old Trafford. So. Do you know, if anyone knows where the Bridgewater Canal is, it'd literally just just be there, near where the rail line is. That's where it would be. It'd be right next door. There is space to do it. I wish I could take you, actually. There's a view of Old Trafford outside our studio. I wish I could take you to kind of point and, and show you, but there is space to build a new stadium there. It can happen. So it'll be interesting. Last little bit that I wanted to talk about. Okay, here we go. From the Telegraph again, a great scoop by by James Ducker on this, I have to say. He said, it is estimated that expanding the current Old Trafford 
could cost at least 800 million and potentially more, while a new ground could be in the region of 1.5 billion to 2 billion pounds. I mean, Sir Jim speaks about, I mean, he doesn't speak. You just may have thought that on it went muted then. But in the article, it speaks about um, Sir Jim looking at getting government funds in due to Westminster's levelling up pledges. I mean, he's got contacts. He knows everyone. Okay, yes, he might not be as rich as you know other candidates that we're looking at to come into Old Trafford, but he's a highly successful businessman that has many contacts. I mean, the funding for Old Trafford, it can be it can be sorted. I have belief that it can definitely be sorted. When you look at eight hundred million to renovate, maybe more. You say eight hundred million, it probably end up being nearly near, nearer to a billion. Then you look at one point five to two billion to com to do a complete new stadium. Financially, the new stadium makes more sense when you look at it in the grand scheme of things and that can't be denied so that's another fact that you've got to take into consideration anthony murray says new trafford history has gone future to come um wm says first thing city owners did was build a new ground if you want to be truly successful you've got to get your ground and the surrounding area to a level i mean city don't have the history that we have and they're creating their own history so it is a compl it is completely different but i agree with you the surrounding areas to old trafford and the surrounding areas to where manchester united's home is does need to be the best of the best gary neville's spoken about it and he gets bantered all the time for it but if you want to be the best footballing team in the world, you've got to back it up by trying to be the best in every department. And it starts off by the basis of recruitment and, you know, what you're doing on the pitch. But Carrington, the training facilities should be the best of the best. The physio department should be the best of the best. The stadium should be the best of the best. We should be investing into the surrounding areas. And the way that Sheikh Mansur is investing into the surrounding areas of the Etihad, the women's facility should be the best of the best. The academy should be the best of the best. It should spread out the whole of your club and it should infiltrate into the city of Manchester. And I do think Sir Jim, from what I've heard, has got has got that aura around him where he does wanna he does want to invest into Manchester. He's from Manchester himself. He he wants to invest into that side of things and I think that's a good thing for all Manchester United fans and, and for Manchester United as well. Um, Kiefer says it's crazy how City and Spurs and many others have better facilities than a club like Manchester United. Exactly. Um, we need to upgrade Carrington as well. Well, there is talks of doing that. But what do you think altogether? Just a quick video on the updates that could be happening under Sir Jim, a new stadium or potentially a renovation. But from that line there, source is close to Sir Jim Ratcliffe. We think the fans would be quite happy to accept a brand new stadium if we stay where we are. I think that gives us a hint of what's to come. And I think a new stadium, and I honestly think people should be excited for it. That's my personal opinion. I completely understand people that would be upset about losing the history of Old Trafford. But it's a really interesting debate to have. I'm going to ask my friends, my, my family. I mean, I'm yet to speak to my dad about this, like in depth. I'd be interested to see how the different age groups react to it. But a new era, a new stadium, new memories, state of the art, the best of the best for the best club in England. That's what we should be aiming for. Um, Mark Langridge says, let's build a new ground for the men's team and give Old Trafford to the women's team. That's really levelling up. And also, when you talk about... I mean, Mark said in that in that WhatsApp to me that he hates new stadiums. Why? You know, moving into the future, you, you want the best of the best. You want, you want the best technology. You want to have the best match day experience. Of course, you know, Old Trafford's still amazing, like the atmosphere, the history and and just kind of the vibe of a match day. But as you're moving into the future and building into the future, I think you should embrace it. To, you know, to really kind of move with the times, you've got to embrace change. You've got to embrace change or else you will get left behind. You will. But anyway, guys, they're my thoughts. Get in the comments down below what you think. Nick P says, Mark's a dinosaur. You know, sometimes, you know, history... And, and and you're talking about a dinosaur there in age, you know, with age comes wisdom and I'm sure a lot of people have have every right to be to be wanting to keep Old Trafford, but I just have wanted to say my opinion and I did say to him, I think more people would agree with me than what he expected. And I think quite a few people in the chat have agreed with me. So that's good to see. It's good to see we've got that dynamic going on there. I think we did have a poll running. I don't know what the poll 
is on. Here we go, I can see here. It's got over 5,000 votes, so get your last votes in now. New stadium or stay at Old Trafford? Ooh, it's way more 50-50 than what I expected. I expected to be like 70% stay at Old Trafford, but in the chat, we've got new stadium 44%, stay at Old Trafford 56%. So I do think, in terms of it, you actually have got more of a debate than what you think. Get in the comments, wrong bridge. But I'm joking. I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to lose my job. I really don't. I mean, thank you everyone for getting involved. Hit a like on the video on your way out. The good news is whether it is a rebuild or whether it is a new Old Trafford, one thing you can say is that Sergio is making moves. We're heading in the right direction because we have to do something and it's about being proactive and that's what you want to see. You're talking about new CEO, new sporting director, new head of recruitment, a new stadium, potentially a new training ground, all of which that are going to just take us up levels. And that's what we've been wanting. That's what we've been asking for. Mark's side of things will be like, if the Glazers said they were doing this, what would people think? And, you know, is Sir Jim covering that up? I don't think so. That's my personal opinion. I think Sir Jim wants what's best for Man United. And what is best is to either renovate or make a new stadium. And if it is make a new stadium, let's have it. And let's let's be the, the best club of the next how many years and, let, and let's do it. But thank you everyone for getting in the chat. The one thing I would massively be against, massively be against, is the name. I don't want something stupid. I mean, Kev put some ideas in, in the chat before, like, you know, Amazon Arena, Apple Arena, Arena, the Disney Bowl. We don't want anything like that. Old Trafford has to stay in the name. That is absolutely iconic. But I think a new stadium step into the future is 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 a good path to take. Anthony Murray, last super chat. Selling the current land for development will supply cash towards the new build. A new Trafford Centre would benefit Manchester. Trafford Centre is doing just fine as it is. Unless you're talking about Old Trafford there. I don't know what, what you're talking about. But anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you for your super chat. Andy, thank you for your super chat there. Love it. Ineos Trafford. Um, the Glazer Field, oh, could you imagine? That just makes me, that 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 is horrible. The Manscaped Stadium, tell you what, with the amount of marketing Manscaped does, it could probably afford to buy the, the naming rights for Old Trafford, couldn't it? I mean, you've got the grass, trim the grass to make the goal look bigger. That could be the new tagline. But thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm going to love you and leave you now. Get all your comments in. Look forward to the, to the show at 8pm because I'm sure Mark's got a lot to say on this topic. Get your comments in down below. I'll be reading through them because I'm, I'm very, very intrigued. This is exciting for me. What's exciting is we're actually making moves and we're making shifts into the future. Thank you, everyone, and have a lovely rest of your day.